the jankiest episode we'll have. That's solid. <laughs> Those aren't coming out. <laughs> Hello, janky drivers. Today we're going to be trying to figure out a problem, fix two different problems. One is the hood. I'm going to try and make it so we don't have to use zip ties anymore. Got hood pins to put right there. And another thing is to replace the radiator hose. I got one from Napa. Right here. Because we ran into the issue with, again, this pulley was starting to finally, not right there, but started chopping up the you see that? Oh, that's a, right there. That's a big gash. Yeah, we need to replace it with this. Cut it down to shorter and then use zip ties to pull the radiator hose um, closer to maybe tied onto this so it doesn't doesn't push back onto the pulley. So let's start off with Oh wait, that's, that's perfect to work with. Sweet. All right, we got one down. Let's get another one right here. All right, we got them both completed. Right here and right here. Next step is to put white lithium grease on both this and this to mark the location in which we need to cut out. And it is touching on that side. And also, is it touching? Yes, it is. Touching on that side too. Sweet. Gotta get that hole exposed. Well, it's, not, it's not showing all the way. Well, we got the uh, hood pins in. I replaced the hose, but I don't know if you can get it on camera, but it's like spewing a lot of smoke. Yeah, see, there you go. It kind of got dumped on all the uh, timing belt and pulleys, so I'm just going to wait until the morning until the smoke clears up and all the liquid dries. That way I can just start her up again and see if she overheats when she's under load or at least when she's revving pretty hard. Oh yeah, that's bad. Well, that's real bad. Oh boy. Hello Janky Drivers, this is a update from Kristoff who's in North Dakota University studying aviation. Uh, he got a 2004 WRX wagon and he has already begun modifying it. Janky update, Subi version 2 gets an exhaust. Have a welder I don't know how to use, old muffler, took the tip off of that, a little piece of straight pipe, and a grinder. Let's see what we can do. Well, I did not burn the house down yet. I'd say it's not too bad for my first time welding. Clean it up a little bit. Biscuit, how's the weather? Let's go. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Yo!
Alright, here we have the old radiator hose. That is a pretty big gash that the pulley put into it. It did its purpose for the time being, but I have now replaced it with the nap apart. And I've used zip ties to pull this section closer to the radiator so it doesn't go back to the pulley. You know, if, if, if anything, I feel real bad for my neighbors who live right over there. It's 10 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and I feel like most people would be asleep. I just feel bad for them, you know. They have to, granted the dad like drives a, like a older BMW that's got like an engine swap in it. So, I mean, I, I guess he understands, but you know, I mean, I would feel bad for like the mother. If, if you guys happen to watch this, I do apologize. I sincerely do, but I need my car to, I need to know if my car will overheat or not. So I can take it to school finally. So I'm testing for leaks for the radiator, or not leaks, for uh, overheating because I had to replace a hose. And it's smoking through because the fans kicked in, which is good, but it's not good that it's smoking through. And it's a terrible smell. Oh, 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 it's, oh, it's so, it's so bad. From all that coolant spilling on all the pulleys. That's bad. All right, Jinky drivers, we have officially a 3 16th cable. I know that's much thicker than the average cable they have on their hood pins. I wanted to go with that thicker, more unconventional kind of robust look. Hey, get out of there. So for right now, we're gonna use the hood pins and this cable. I am eventually, in the next couple of days, going to drill a hole into support and have it lay like that, but because I don't have a bolt and nut, I'm going to be using zip ties at the moment. So all I'm doing right now, slipping zip tie through the hole and then mounting it onto the support. And there we go, we have one, we have two. Let's just snip these off real quick. Oh. Oh, that's gone. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, let's put the hood down. It latches. It's still got a lot of play, so we gotta use the hood pins. That's so cool. That's jank. That's that's honestly so jank. <laughs> that's too good. That's too good. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, janky drivers, for watching this episode of Hook Pins, and. Uh, this is by far probably the most jank episode we've ever done. Yikes. See you guys around. Hey, janky drivers. I forgot to make a clutch part two, but the clutch part two was supposed to be a review of how the clutch felt and the engagement points and such. Uh, I broke the clutch in, so it's uh, the break-in period of like 75, 750 to like 1,000 miles of like city and highway around maybe like 550 to 600 it started getting like less grabby so it started breaking in like properly or i guess that's just after a while it finally gets to that like oem like broken in feel uh, before it used to get a lot of chatter so just coming off the clutch like going at, at a stoplight even going downhill was you get a lot of chatter from that the 
clutch is now fully broken in. Uh, I've done a couple of pulls on it and it's pretty strong. Flywheel is definitely a lot lighter. Uh, downshifting is faster and easier now, but when you're upshifting, you have to shift a lot quicker. And sometimes like you miss just slightly and the revs drop too low and then they have to catch back up. So there's that. I mean, it's only maybe 100, 200, maybe 300 uh, RPM difference when it drops, it has to come back up. But yeah, thank you for watching. It's been a crazy journey with the, um, the radiator hose. Hood pins are just totally jank and so is the upper radiator hose held on by zip ties. So that's kind of crazy. But for right now, like that's, that's what I'm rocking. Like those hood pins, those cables, everything is like ultimate jank. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.